Hello and welcome back to our channel. In this video, I'm going to show you a useful trick to remove the Getty Images watermark from your photos using Photoshop. This kind of watermark can be quite difficult to remove, but with this method, we can get rid of it almost every time. So, let's get started. Here's the first image we're going to work with. As you can see, it has a Getty Images watermark in the lower right corner. We're going to start by removing the numbers in the lower left part of the image. To do this, we can use the polygonal lasso tool to select the area, and then go to Edit a Content Aware Fill. Photoshop will automatically remove the unwanted part, so we can press OK and merge the two layers. Now, let's move on to the real challenge, removing the watermark. We'll start by selecting it with the polygonal lasso tool again. It's important to be precise with the selection, otherwise the trick might not work. Once we've selected the watermark, we can press Ctrl plus J to duplicate it onto a new layer. Then, we'll change the blending mode to overlay. We can merge the two layers again and use the spot healing brush tool to correct any imperfections. Finally, we can use the polygonal lasso tool to select the remaining parts of the watermark and remove them using the content aware fill tool. And there you have it. A clean, watermark free image. Now, let's try with a more challenging image. As you can see, the watermark is above the subject, making its removal really difficult. Let's start by removing the numbers in the lower left part as we did before. Then, we can select the watermark and duplicate it onto a new layer, choosing Overlay as the blending mode. Now, let's duplicate the watermark layer three more times and hide their visibility. We can merge the first watermark layer with the background image and correct any imperfections with the spot healing brush tool. Next, select the part of the watermark which goes off the subject and remove it using the content aware fill tool. If the initial result is not satisfactory, you can remove all the unwanted parts from the green zone, leaving only the background parts. As you can see, the result is much better now. Now, you can show the other two layers again, put them in a group, and select only the parts of the watermark that are above the subject. With the group selected in the Layers menu, click on the mask icon on the lower right part, and then merge the background layer with the group. Finally, you can remove the text using the Spot Healing Brush tool or the Content Aware Fill tool, depending on which works best for you. In my case, the brush tool worked better, although it's not always the most professional choice. And there you go. Here's the before and after. You may still notice some imperfections above the subject, but given the initial situation, this is an impressive result. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more Photoshop tips and tricks. And as always, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.